Hello and welcome. This is Precious from ClickIt Academy and I'll tell you that I'm very delighted and ecstatic to have you in this training series for C. I hope that you follow through and will be able to get through to the end and let's get to business. So what is C? C is a general purpose programming language that was created by Dennis Ritchie at the AT&T Bell Laboratories in 1972. Now, Ritchie created his newly developed language simply because there was a programming language called B already. Interesting, right? In short, B was the reason C was created. Now, C is a high-level programming language and in fact, C is one of the most popular general purpose programming languages. It is very popular, yet, although it is quite old or very old. Now, C is strongly associated with Unix as it was developed to write the Unix operating system. And right here is a diagram that we just show you the basics of how C works. So, when you write your source code in C, you know, you write your code, C will need a compiler that would help you to convert what you have written to machine code. So, your machine or the machine cannot understand your source code or your C code immediately. So, it needs a compiler in between to be able to do that. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to install a compiler and do all the settings. But here, let's roll on with our introduction so you may ask yourself why should i learn c well c is one of the most programming languages in the world and it is easy to read so why shouldn't you learn it and if you know c already you would have no problem learning other popular programming languages like java python c plus plus c ash because the syntax are almost similar is that not good news enough now, C is very fast compared to other programming languages like Java and Python, and it is easy to maintain. That's like a very good point, you know, for a language that has been very old, very old. C is very versatile. It can be used in both applications and technologies. In short, most operating systems like Windows have an element of the C programming languages in them. So you can use C to create operating system, desktop applications, all sort of applications, you know, computer applications, anything you can think of C because it's the base of most programming language. C is very portable and you can port it to different computer platforms. I would have loved to end this video here, but I just want to tell you the differences between C and C++ because people tend to confuse both of them. So, difference between C and C++. C was developed as an extension of C. And both languages have almost the same syntax. So, look at it this way. C came out first. C is the basis of C++. So, when you have the language C, then an extension was created called C++. That is to say, if you understand C, if you follow me through the end of all these videos and you understand C properly, you would have no problem with C++. Also, the very main difference between C and C++ is that C++ supports classes and objects, while C does not. What this means is, C is a procedural language, that is, it starts executing its code from top to bottom. So, C is a procedural language. But C++ is an object-oriented language. Or it operates on object-oriented programming, that is, you can work with objects and classes in C++, but you can't do that in C. That is just the major difference. So, a lot of talking, right? Like I always tell you, I prefer practicals to theory. So from the next video, we would see how to install our test editor and how to install compiler and how to work with our first line of code. So I'll see you in the next video. Precious out.